German researchers have blown a huge hole in NASA's M-Drive research, noting that when they changed the direction that the M-Drive was facing, the direction of the thrust changed, but the level of thrust did not, even when the M-Drive was oriented in such a way that any applied power should produce zero thrust. This clearly indicates that the thrust is not coming from the M-Drive, but some electromagnetic interaction, the researchers wrote in their paper. Although we use twisted or coaxial cables as much as possible, some magnetic fields will eventually leak through our cables and connectors. When they calculated the forces resulting from a combination of Earth's magnetic field, the length of their cables and the electric current flowing through them, they found that the result was equal to a few micronewtons, which is comparable to the thrust they had observed in the vacuum chamber. We therefore suspect that the interaction of the power feeding for the amplifier with the Earth's magnetic field masked any real thrusts that could be below our observed value, they wrote. In a future test, the researchers said they planned to add new metal sheets to the setup that would shield the device from these unwanted outside electromagnetic influences. Yet as they note in their paper, this type of shielding was not used during the NASA experiments.